Shall we try this? Yes. We invite you, we invite you to join us to explore. Hmm. We will begin with your, hmm, the area in front of your heart and throat chakra. And then we will practice your root chakra. And then we will do your crown chakra. Then we will move to the remaining chakras. By the time we finish this little exercise, you will feel like experts. Mm. Yes. So again, relax. You are all protected. Your angels, your librarians, your everyone is here. So you may sit and relax. Give yourself a moment to flow with your energy. Be aware of energy flowing, 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 and hmm. Just for a moment, breathe and just become in harmony with energy flowing and emanating from your being. Hmm. So now put your focus inside your heart, inside your bosom and your heart. Acknowledge without discrimination, acknowledge what you find in there. You may ask it if it has a name, the name may you find may be a memory or it may be a word such as fear or anxiety or excitement or there may be oppressed memories just hiding in nooks and crannies afraid that if you observe them you will banish them they do not understand or clinging because they think they are doing some work for you. Don't fall for that again. We're going to stay here and protect you from hmm, something wonderful. It's quite silly. If there's anything in your heart that is below happiness, then it is there for a reason. But most often, it's not there for a necessary purpose. It is hmm, debris, forgotten debris. So you may look in your heart, see all the shatters and shaggy pieces of forgotten debris and say to it, hmm, if any of you would like to align with love, if any of you would like to release from my heart to go out into the universe, I send you out with my love to go with you. So you have my love wherever you go. If you wish to release, you may take love from me with you always. And if you find it frightening out there, you are always welcome to return home. But any of you that wish to stay, or when you return, I ask you to align with love. And rather than be sharp centers in my heart, I ask you to go with the curve of my heart so that you may be nestled within the energy flow and help make my heart and my love even more powerful. 
align and sheath yourself, align and layer, stratify, become platelets of love so that you, instead of being a solitary shaggy piece, are part of a beautiful stratification of love nestled with love on either side you are becoming your own kindred group so all the memories and all the warnings all the alerts are there unified with love and supported by love nestled with love creating a beautiful platform to support your loving work. Hmm. And now we will go to your throat chakra. If you feel any blocks, anything that chokes you, or sits like splinters or sharp edges in your throat, any mufflers around you, anything that silences you, tells you no one wants to hear what you say, ask it, would it like you to send some love up to support every one of those thoughts and statements, everything you ever wished you said, but swallow, everything you said and then were embarrassed, everything in your throat. Invite all that beautiful love to rise up and support all those pieces to align to be coated with the love energy and say to them beautiful words of my throat. You are invited to stay in my throat and align, stratify with love to support my throat chakra to be wise and honest and sometimes extraordinarily outspoken or sometimes aware, but not feeling compelled to speak. Each moment will share itself and you are invited to bring your wisdom, your experience to fill with love and line my throat. If there are any parts of you that wish to leave, you may leave with my love. Know you are always welcome to return so long as you are cohesive and support the power of my throat. Allow the wisdom of your throat chakra to flow down and support the love of your heart chakra and allow the love of your heart to support your throat. They may blend. Hmm. So now feel the energy around your throat and your heart around you, in front of you, beside you. You may wave your hands if you like. Feel where they naturally wish to go. Don't worry if you have trouble reaching your hands behind your back because you are, as you wave your hands in front, you can feel the extension of them behind you. Or you are not just touching the area in front of your heart, you are touching a layer of energy around your body. And you can feel it 
as you touch one side, you feel it around in front of you, behind you. You may feel it above and below. You are feeling a layer of your energetic extension that is fed by your heart and your throat. And it goes around your body. Feel how it feels inside this energy where the inner wall connects to you and invite your heart, your throat to absorb all the goodness. Feel this wise love that flows around your body within this containment. And allow your imagination to express to you what material this wall is made of, what it may look like, feel like, what its structure is. If it were visible to you, what would it look like to you? Does it look to you like it's a healthy wall barrier in good shape or is it damaged? A healthy layer, the wall or the layer's perimeter, will have energy flowing through it and crevices, cracks, openings where other layers can flow in and out. If it is damaged, share gratitude to this just as you had given gratitude to your body. Give gratitude to this wall surrounding the layer and thank it for the excellent job it does. And you see the gratitude, the appreciation, respect, the love automatically fortifies this layer and gives it energy. Gratitude is very powerful. And now bring your awareness to the outside of this layer, of this wall. How does this feel to you? Like there's something that the wall is protecting you from? Like it worries there's hostility on the outside or is it interconnecting with the next layer and fully functioning, flowing, just as within, also without? If it feels like a barrier, a barricade to prevent what is out from coming in, don't worry, this is natural, for all of your wisdom and love is on the inside. This is precious. Acknowledge the barricade and explain to it that now that your awareness is also involved, this barricade no longer needs to be self-supporting, that you are here. Invite the, the layer to relax and open and let it know if you communicate with me when you have concerns, I will help you to resolve them so that you may be on your exterior as loving and flowing with wisdom as you are on your interior.
we will be partners now. You no longer need shoulder your burden on your own. So again, express gratitude and appreciation and invite the love and the wisdom to radiate and flow in all directions. You may feel like you are becoming a ball of loving wisdom. This is excellent. Excellent. Hmm. So now, let us bring all this wonderful ball of loving wisdom that you have become and open your root chakra to earth. Allow all this loving wisdom energy to flow downward and bring your awareness as you are flowing this energy downward to earth. Are there any blocks in your way? Is there anything that becomes difficult? Is it open? Or do you have anything in your root chakra that are saying, don't give away your love or you won't have any? Or, hmm, does earth really want your love? Anything that is self-doubting, anything that is fear of rejection, any sharp edges or rocks or debris in your root chakra, any jagged parts that are interrupting your flow. It may be emotional or it may be forgotten memories or hmm, fear. Pay attention to them as your beautiful wisdom and love is flowing down through your root chakra into earth. And as you come across these jagged edges, explain to them you are invited to absorb this wisdom and this love. You're invited to feed upon it to wallow in it, and I share gratitude to you for having been a reminder for me, for standing guard, protecting me, but now I tell you, you are welcome to slather yourself in my love and depart for other adventures, or you may align yourself stratify along my root chakra to give my root chakra great power and structural integrity while you are absorbing love and wisdom from me as my gift to you for gratitude for all you have done for me. So everything absorbs love and either releases, knowing it may return if it wishes, but if it returns, it returns with loving stratification, and all other debris you find, coat it with love, and in case, connect it to a line with your root chakra, so that your beautiful energy may flow into earth. Feel your energy flowing into earth. And you see this is limitless energy. Love only creates more love. Align and flow, radiate.
you feel as your love and your wisdom flow into earth in many areas you are saturating the earth with your energy you are becoming one with the earth you are becoming an earth being of magic so allow yourself to resonate with any compatible earth magic energy that your love is saturating and invite this energy to flow back to absorb with yours and for you to absorb with it only the earth magic energy that you feel kindred with at this moment will also rise up and flow up through your root chakra you may find it's an elemental energy or crystalline or an animal or ancient spirits or memories maybe physical or multi-dimensional do not predetermine just invite what feels kindred with you to rise up incorporate with your love and incorporate with you And now as this energy is rising up in you, invite its magic to sing to your heart and let your heart respond as it will. If any debris, because of course they are in habit, fall out of alignment, invite them to sing themselves back into proper place sing with your earth magic friend what heart song do you compose together And of course now, this is so much love, it is delicious. We invite it to rise up, your wisdom, your love, your earth magic to rise up through your crown chakra to the other dimensions. As this energy is rising up, you will find it naturally and automatically aligns and stratifies everything in its way all those jagged pieces and splinters very naturally get into alignment and stratify and absorb and glow with this beautiful wisdom and love and earth magic or as you know, the other dimensions love very much the earth magic. It is like a wonderful treat for them to feast upon this energy. So there's great glorious gratitude that your energy is rising to. This energy that you are flowing upward is being received with appreciation and hmm, glory hmm. 
allow yourself to flow like a geyser of love and earthly goodness. Hmm. And allow everything to be cohesive. Bring your awareness up through your crown chakra going up. Feel where your layers are and you can feel all the layers that go around you where your crown chakra is there are gaps where one layer comes in but leaves space on one side the next layer comes in leaves space on the other side it is not just straight up energy it's craggy cliffs so that all the layers in your body in your being can also feed on their edge, their little bit, the energies where you connect. It is the same with your root chakra, but that is so, such powerful earth magic, it's more hmm, difficult to notice. But here where the energy is lighter, you can feel the edges of the layers. And the energy is serpentine up, but it is also blasting up. Invite these edges that stick out into your crown chakra going up to be either very porous or to align themselves with the inner wall of your crown chakra going up whichever you prefer so that all of the love that's flowing to and from either flows through these edges as though they are sponges or they layer themselves to align within the crown. It is important they are there to represent, or they are feeding and sending all of this energy to your parts of your being that are surrounding your body. But if they do not need to interrupt flow. When the energy can sm flow smoothly, then you're less likely to get the vertigo. They just are very hungry and want to feed. Oh, feed me, feed me, to send and feed the rest of your being. But to explain to them you are aware now so you will make sure there is always plenty of food for your full being and now as you have just fed the angels yummy earth magic invite them to flow their heavenly choir of love down upon you and fill you and flow through you to all of the magic of earth which of course becomes vitalized with multi-dimensional and angelic energy mm -hmm. and you'll see how much easier the flow is now that you have aligned your crown chakra mm -hmm. If there is anything in your heart that says you do not deserve to absorb the energy, explain, of course you do. The angels are sending you a gift of love. So of course you must accept and allow your heart 
to fill up with it. Allow your throat to fill up with it. Allow your brain to fill up with it, please. Let your brain fill. And if you have any of those little thoughts or jagged pieces or splinters in your brain, in your third eye, in your head, align them along the neurons so that they may support the angelic love to be active with the firings of the electrons and the brain functioning. How much better do we all think when angelic love is flowing through our brain, right? And you can feel the energy around your head, your third eye energy. If there is any area in front of your head that feels stuffy or pressure or blocked or spiky, acknowledge these little pieces and tell them to absorb the angelic love and then align with your energetic sphere so that they are not blocking you anymore, but rather supporting the structural integrity of this activity. You may find as you're going through this, as one part of your body becomes structured, another part falls out a little bit. So then return to that part and realign it. Feel the energy around your head. You may raise your hands and feel the energy around your head, all around. And you can feel where the wall is, the layers end, the edge. Invite the flow. Invite the flow and the radiance so you do not feel any pressure or headaches or discomfort. It is only loving radiance. And as before, pay attention to the inside of the barrier. The barrier itself, what is it made of? What does it look like? And the outside. We give you this moment to do as we did before, explore inside, and then what does the barrier look like, and then explore the outside, and then vitalize the barrier with appreciation and acknowledgement. We give you a moment for this on your own. You may wish to expand the energy around your head if it feels too tight or pressured or your other energy spheres have been expanding. This one may need to be reminded to get with the program.
invite all of your energy to expand a bit, all of your spheres, your layers to expand and to interact with each other. You may feel like more energy is flowing into you. It may be a bit of a heady feeling to support this expansion. So if so, just relax, open up, and allow nature to take its course. And now bring your awareness back down, down through your being, down through your third eye, your throat, your heart, down to below your ribcage, to your solar plexus, on down again a little lower to below your belly, to your sacral chakra. It is generally a good idea to activate your solar plexus after your sacral. For the solar plexus, it's the little sibling to the sacral. The sacral tells the solar plexus what to do. So without an active sacral, that solar plexus can run wild go to your solar plexus which depends upon several things the solar plexus needs to be fed and supported from all of the earth magic the the sacral the sacral needs to be supported from the earth magic the sacral needs to be supported from your third eye and your heart but most importantly, the sacral is supported by your soul, or your sacral chakra is your inspiration. The sacral chakra is the birthing of your great ideas. Look into your sacral chakra and see if you have been honoring your divine inspirations or oppressing them. You may find it's a gooey mess in there along with the beautiful radiance. Acknowledge what you find, honor your sacral for having been such a keynote support for you. Ask forgiveness for all the times you have dismissed the many wonderful ideas that have been flowing up, springing up like a bed of wildflowers. And promise your sacral chakra that you will listen. You will listen with respect, appreciation, and admiration to the whispers that will rise up from this precious place that is so deeply grounded yet so open with pure inspiration. Look in your sacral, invite the love to flow and align, honor, appreciate, value, the more you see your sacral chakra, the more you realize it is filled with beauteous wonder. And understand, this is you. As you honor your sacral, you honor your sacred self.
invite all energy, everything you find, the memories, everything to absorb with love and either release or align so that your sacral may become your powerhouse, your sacred self powerhouse of inspiration. You see how much easier this becomes even with our short amount of practice. And now allow the sacral chakra to send inspiration and integrity up to your solar plexus chakra at the top of your belly so that this chakra that is always saying, follow me, gang, is now receiving a reason to be followed. Inspiration. Explore your solar plexus chakra. You may find oppressed memories or emotions, reasons why you have held yourself back, self-chastisement often dwells here. Honor everything you find. Thank you for having joined me on this extraordinary human earthly experience. But now I tell you, you may absorb the love. And as is your wish, you may go off with my love to feed you and have adventures. You are always welcome to return. Or you may align the solar plexus chakra so that we together may become a powerhouse of inspired action. Give yourself a moment to honor this process so that your solar plexus may become layers of energy stratified, filled with love, supported by inspiration. Invite your heart to flow love into your solar plexus. Align, stratify. And now put your hands in the air around your midriff to feel the energy from sacral and solar plexus around your body. Feel the sphere of energy. You can see where you touch it in the front. You can feel it ripple all around. You can feel how this layer is different from the layers of the heart, the throat, and your third eye, your mind. It is a unique energy sphere of its own right. Feel the energy inside this sphere invite the love to flow and permeate inside this sphere and anything that you find in there that interferes with love invite it to absorb love and either release from your being or form an alliance, stratify with the layer around you, or dissolve and just become part of the love energy flow.
um, some more love into it. With each beat of your heart, more love flows. And look at the exterior of this layer on the inside, the layer itself, and on the outside. Explore, heal, make cohesive, express gratitude, and invite it to fill with divine love, with love of your heart, to become again vitalized and interactive with your layers. You may chat with this layer if you wish. Now, bring your awareness to the general area around your being. You have energy flowing through you. If you feel any areas that have again seized up or become encumbered, invite them to return to your new way of being. Cohesive and feel the energy around your body. Allow your awareness to go out as far as you like and see how big your being is and how many connections you have flowing in and out. You may notice your connections to those you love and to your soul family, to your teachers, to your collectives, to your dimensions, to your earth, to places in the earth you feel connected to, many connections Explore this bounty that is you. It is appropriate if you, filled with wonderment, are in awe of yourself. Breathe in some deep breaths. Let your awareness flow and filter through your extraordinary being. As you are feeling at this moment is a small part of how humans felt at all times long ago when you were in harmony with your planet. The time has come for humanity to again return 
to your greater connections, to understand the full potential of your extraordinary being. You are not puny and you are not physical. You are expansive, but you have forgotten yourselves. The time has come for you to remember truly how great you are. There are even many humans in the soul level who have forgotten that you are capable of all this for it has become out of practice for too long a time for too many. When you look at those who have extraordinary skills and you think they must study hard for this, of course, but truly they have expanded into their true pure being so they have access to energies and capabilities that you only have when you are one with yourself your true pure expansive self tonight it is our pleasure our true honor to introduce yourselves to how expansive you are, we implore you to continue growing and opening and understanding for there is much more to you than even you realize. But you may realize this may open and happen for you. We thank you for taking this journey with us tonight. When you think, if you live, each day connecting with your expansive state, then you need not fear anything ever. For you become very wise and intuitive. Have we any questions on this or any matter? Well then, we say, we thank you for joining with us tonight. And we look forward to our next visit together. Namaste. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Well, that was wild. <laughs> Where'd you go? Um, they took me up to the library, and I think they were showing me the same thing they were showing you, but I had... Um, a number of librarians like doing it to me and I was just like relaxing while they were doing all the work and talking to me about what they were doing. So I guess I was the lazy one. 
but like it was like I could see it was like I was looking down on this like I was watching a movie at the far end of the room but what I was seeing wasn't like anything 3D I was seeing the energy layers that they were doing to you with you but I was way over here while they were talking with me so it's almost like you were like background like oh yeah that's something happened like but most of the time I was just focused with them um, nice yeah so did you get did you get the message, message? I want to see I want to see if the uh, grapevine worked I'm going to go with no, it didn't. I don't know. <laughs> it was about 10 minutes ago, I asked my librarian to tell your librarians that it's been over an hour. Oh, <laughs> well, then when they were going, they're like, it's time to go. <laughs> uh, then that was, oh, okay, then they got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Yes. Yeah, like, I did learn when, when they're like, okay. Like they knew they were on time and it was time to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it worked. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Cool beans. Well, listen, you guys, good luck with this. That's um that was yeah. some pretty big stuff. Let's go forward and be our expansive selves. Okay. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Bonita. Thank you. Thank you, Bonita. Thank you, Bonita. Love you. I love you. Thank you.